chapter 3. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Are you in Philippians chapter 3? Mm. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's start from verse 1. It says, Finally, my, bro my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you, the same things to you. To me, indeed, it's not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs because of evil workers. Beware of the concession. Hallelujah. Amen. And then he said, verse 2, he said, For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any man thinks that he had confidence, if any man thinks he had thereof, thereof he, must, he must trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law a Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is which is in the law, blameless. But that these, but what things were gained to me, those I count Lord for Christ. Yea, doubtless I count all things, but Lord for the excellence excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them that but I that I may win Christ hallelujah now let's read verse 10 again he said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made comfortable no being made comfort, comfort, conformable unto his death that I may know him now my topic today is that that I may know him last week I talked about the Lord the Lord knowing us hallelujah he said according to Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 he said, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And I've set you apart. And I've called you. I've ordained you to be a prophet. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just give a, a background, but I won't go into detail because we spent about an hour last week to actually talk about it. What was he saying? He was saying to Jeremiah, he said, before even your parents came together, and decided to actually have you. I knew you. And before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Hallelujah. Amen. And Paul gave us a background also about his calling. Hallelujah. Verse 10. He said, that I may know you. Does it mean that that time Paul didn't know Christ? No, he did. He knew him long, long time ago. Even whilst he was writing this, uh, this, this passage, Paul knew Christ a long time ago. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But it was something that he wanted to know more about Christ. And the reason why he wanted to know more about Christ is that I want us to uh, today actually look at about three or four things. Hallelujah. That can be a blessing also to us Christians. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That I may know him hallelujah that i may know him that was his heart cry hallelujah in jesus name one he met him he knew him as a, a savior paul knew christ as a savior and when did it happen let's go to galatians chapter chapter one read from uh, verse as we said before, there's a verse 9. Thank you. So say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that you, ye have received, let him be accursed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, please but, finish with verse, verse, 15, verse 15. Okay, 15. So verse 15. 
Yeah. When it pleased God, who separated me from my mother? Do you want me to read 10 to 15 or just 15? Okay, from 10 to 15, yeah. Okay, verse 10. For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. 11. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. 12. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. 13. For mm -hmm. you have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. 14. And profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. 15. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Here he was actually giving a background how he met Christ. He was on his way to persecute the Christians. This man enjoyed to see Christian suffering because he hated Christ. So, because he hated Christ so much, he was, he, anyone who, who called himself a Christian, this man wanted to actually destroy. And the way he was killing them, it wasn't just an easy job, hallelujah, or easy way. They would just uh, put the Christians, they would stab these lions, they would stab them for many, many days, and then they will release these lions, and these lions will be tearing and eating the Christians, and then they will be laughing and enjoying themselves. As the Christians are just uh, worshipping, or as they are dying, or what will happen is that they will have a chariot, one on the left and one on the right, and then they will chain the person, the hands and the feet on one chariot, and the other feet and the hands on the other one, and then the two horses, the chariot will be going in two different places. So they do that to tear the person apart. So you can imagine the kind of person that he was. He was killing Christians, killing was nothing. He actually loved blood. When he see blood to him, it, it makes him excited. I excited. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And he said, he has asked permission and he gave himself a background. He said, according to the law, I was blameless. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So that's what he was doing. So he has asked permission that to go to Damascus and get more Christians and crucify him and so, so that he, he can actually destroy them or kill them. And on the way, he met Christ. Christ he saw a big light and the light spoke as a voice came and said, so, so, why have you persecuted me? You see, the amazing thing is that God did not say, why are you doing this to the Christians or my followers? He said, Paul, Paul, so, so, that's how he was so. So, so, why are, why are you persecuting me? And then he said, you can find this in Acts chapter 9. And then he said, Lord, he said, who are you? And he said, I am Jesus. Hallelujah. That was the introduction. So when he heard that it was Jesus, the first thing that he said was, what do you, Lord, what do you want me to do for you? Now keep this in your spirit. Lord, what do you want me to do for you? Mm. This man has been killing and destroying Christians. So he was actually amazed that God, Jesus Christ, when he met him, did not say, why did you do this? I'm going to kill you. I'm going to take revenge. But the Lord actually said to him, he said, go to, go to this place. There was a man that I've sent him. The man I've seen you in vision. Go and the man will tell you what to do. Jesus didn't tell him what to do. And then this, uh, uh, this man of God, Ananias, uh, God revealed it to him. He said, go to this house, uh, this house. And when you go, you will see him, a man called Saul. From uh, Saul. And he's, he has seen you in vision. Go and lay your hands upon him. Hallelujah. Amen. This man met Jesus that time. He saw the one who did not condemn him. He saw the first time that the Lord who he has been persecuting destroyed his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then the Lord said to him, you know something Paul? He said, I have been. I set you apart. So I have set you apart. 
you are mine. So all the time that even before he was forming his mother's womb, according to what I preached last week, Paul, uh, the Lord knew or he has set him apart for his use. Amen. He didn't know. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, you may be sitting there and thinking, why? So is it right that he was killing all these people? But let me tell you something. One thing that I always tell Christian, and we find it difficult to actually embrace it or to take it, but I pray to the Lord that today you understand it. You were called into the kingdom not to have parties, not to actually enjoy yourself. Christians, listen. God did not call you from the world just for us to come and have party and pray. Lord, give me money. Lord, give me this. Lord, give me that. Lord, give me that. No, 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 no. He called you. You are a special people. We are special people. That he wants to reveal himself through us. So that those who don't know him will come to him. Because we are not, we are not going to live here for the whole, for all the, uh, all the time. There was a place that was prepared for us. Amen. And I know sometimes I doubt it even if Christians believe that we have a place called home and that is in heaven. Amen. That's where Christians go. And unbelievers go to hell. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So God's heart is for us. He called us to reveal himself and to show himself strong and to bless us so that people will see the God in us but we are not allowing him and I pray to God that today we will, we will have revelation and then we will actually allow him so that he will become what he wants us to be Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now he is telling us he said by his grace he has called me, he set me apart Hallelujah. So everything that he was doing, God knew that, oh, devil, you can use Paul anyhow you want. At the end of the day, he belongs to me. And when my time comes and I snatch him, he will do more than what you have done. Hallelujah. So in Christianity, we have to lay down our life for others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Material things that we are searching and searching and searching, I always tell you, I always tell you that the material thing, God said from the very beginning, when he created the man and the woman, he filled everything that they needed to live on this earth. Gold, silver, food, think about it. And then what did he say to the Israelites when he de delivered them? He said, I'm taking you to a land full of honey and milk. A land where it was fruitful and a land that they can relax and enjoy themselves so that they can worship Christ and they can worship God. Hallelujah. Amen. And then if you go to Hebrews chapter chapter 11 verse 6, it says, He that come to me must first believe that I am God and I reward those who diligently seek me. Amen. When he appeared to Abraham, he said, I am your exceedingly great rewarder. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? Yes. So you see, when we come spending time, oh Lord, give me car, Lord, give me this one, Lord, give me house, Lord, give me property, Lord, give me this one. You are wasting your time because already God has prepared everything Hallelujah. that you need to live in this house, this, this land, and make yourself uncomfortable and worship Him so that you can have time. When your life is comfortable, you can worship Him. That's why He said to the Israelites, and he said to the Moses, go to Egypt, back to Egypt, tell Pharaoh, let my people go. They could not worship God in the land of Egypt because why? They were in bondage. They were so tired because the, the, the slave masters were making them work so much that by the time they get home, they are too tired to pray, to worship God, to have a communication with God. So God said, the promise that I sent, I promised Abraham, now I have come so that they will have peace to worship me. Amen. When they went to the land of milk and honey, what happened? They were able to worship God. And God has called you in this kingdom, his kingdom, to do the same thing to you. But you see, we are being deceived by the devil. We are working, some people are working too much that they can't even serve God. You see how the devil deceives us? Yeah. And the more you depend on your strength, working, 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 what happens? At the end of the month, when you are not expecting, something comes and take all your 
money and then you start again. Mm. Mm. The earth God has given to us. Hallelujah. He's a good father. Amen. He is a good father. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So Paul said, now I know him as a, a savior. But I can see that there was more about this man that I want to know. I want to know him as my Lord. I want to know him as a person. And then I want to know him as my God. And why the suffering that he went through for my sake. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord as Lord. The Bible says that when he got born again, he actually gave his testimony. Hallelujah. He went to uh, um, Arabia for 14 years, studying the word, thinking, having fellowship with God. Hallelujah. In the word, to know what the Bible talks or the, 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 the Torah, that's the, 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 uh, the, the Old Testament talks about the Christ if he's the same Christ that he revealed himself and then after that he went to Jerusalem and guess what he met uh, Peter because he knew that Peter was very very close to the Lord and then he also met James and he made it plain that these are the two people that he, ought, he met hallelujah he wanted to know God Jesus Christ as a person Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget Jesus is God and is also yeah. full God and full man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I believe that he went to uh, Peter and then talked to Peter about the three years what they knew about, uh, about Jesus. And also as a, ba as a baby or as, uh, as a brother to James, he wanted to know more about Christ. Do you really want to know the person that you have put your trust in? Yes. You see, and there are different kinds of knowing a person. Now, I know the queen. For years I've been getting confused between the queen mother and the queen. And I don't even know the difference even up to now. <laughs> Hallelujah. And any time I talk about the queen, queen mother, mother no my pardon? Queen mother is no more. Uh -huh. Every time I talk about I said, oh, the queen mother, my children will go, mom, is the queen. And I said, where is the queen mother? Oh, mom, he, he, she died a long time. And they keep telling me, and they keep telling me. Why? Because I really don't want to know him. I respect him as the queen of each, uh, I mean, England. England. But I have no connection with her. Hallelujah. Amen. So I've heard about her. If I see her on TV with a crown on, on, I will know that this is the queen now. If I go to my country and they said, oh, how is the queen? I will say to the world, the queen is fine. He, she may not be well, but I will not know. But I will just say, the queen is well, unless it comes on the, on the, on the news. His children, I know that she's got children. How many of them, I really don't know. But if somebody said, talk to me, do you know the queen? I'll say, yes, I know the queen. Mm. There's another level of knowing someone. And then there's also another level, like my area where I live. Because I've lived there for so many years, about 15, almost 16 years. I know my neighbors. Each one of them knows our name. They know each one of us names. They know us, but I don't know, not even one of them. I don't know their name. Because when I talk to them, when I see them, I say hi, and then we chat, and then we talk about the weather, and I go to my room. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I don't know them. But it's amazing how they really know us. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's another kind of knowing them. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But that's only about four people around my street. But sometimes, many cases, 
Pastor, we've lost, uh, Pastor have left his wallet or the phone or something on a, I don't know how they do it, but there was always something that they've left behind. And then somebody along the road will bring it and write their number, number 56, which to 56 can be a long way. But they know that this one belongs to the, the year board, and then they will bring it. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you understand? What? And then there was a deeper knowing, hallelujah, that I will know, like uh, our dear doctor, before doctor went to South Africa, they were here for about, is it two years, doctor? Or more? About that. About two years. I didn't know anything about this man. All what I knew about him, he come to church, and then he goes, I didn't know anything about this man. Then when he came back from South Africa, that's about uh, about less than six months now. I know much about him. Now if somebody asks me, do you know Dr. Colin? I can tell you. I know his parents. I know how many brothers. I'm not going to go more than that because if you are, I, 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 I know, it, but I'm not really sure now. But I know he's got brothers and I know he's got sisters. And how many of them are forgotten? Hallelujah. Amen. Are you understanding? I know his children and I really know him because why? He comes to a house. We talk a lot. You understand what I mean? Not only as a pastor to him before, I was fully pastor to him. But now, he even called me mama. Are you understanding the difference? Amen. Because well, I got to know him more because we talk more. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He can come to our house anytime he wants. Mm -hmm. The only thing I told him is that, you know, we women, sometimes we just... Uh, don't we don't do our makeup or do this thing. just let me know a few minutes and say I'm not going to <laughs> that one will do but apart from that my door is open hallelujah <laughs> praise the lord hallelujah you are watching only believe with Gina Yaboa. I believe in miracle. I believe in miracle because I've seen so much miracles. Hallelujah. What our God will do for his children. Hallelujah. So today I believe that as I'm taking you to the program, you are going to watch the miracle, the signs and wonders that God did. Hallelujah. Now you stay in tune and watch this in Jesus' name. To God be the glory. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Come, I have to catch my, my, my train. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with your eyes? I want to stop wearing blinds. So now what can't you do? I, I can still something. I can see something. Oh, okay. Come with me. I'm just reading. Ah, okay. Come with me. Thank you. Please, what's wrong with you? I don't see she can't do it. What do you do? Oh, why is Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So is this here? Right. The right one. The right one.
I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, you are wonderful. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, you are wonderful. Jesus, you are wonderful. Jesus, you are wonderful. Father. Why? 
He said, say, I'm a healer, and you didn't get your, and the mother for the now I'm gone, so. <laughs> God bless you. Hallelujah. I got to go because of time. Hallelujah. God bless you. And watch me the same time every week with only believe with Gina Yabua. God bless you.